the mutual interests of peace and security for all mankind, the two great nations of the United States and Great Britain had been working on a secret project designated 13. And the top nuclear scientist of the United States was assigned command of the joint operation. Luther Blair left Los Alamos, New Mexico to join his British colleagues and head Plan 13, an expedition into outer space. Unit Hans Point, Surrey. Uh, ship must be ready one week from today. That'll be all. Oh, I'll be sure to code that message. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, let's make a final check. Nuclear power checks out. Gyroscopic cabin controls set. Ready for takeoff. Anderson. All instruments check out. We're approaching zero hour. This is Expedition 13. Ready for takeoff. Stand by. Attention, this is Control Tower Command to all units. Stand by for launching. Count will commence in one minute.
hear this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Identity cards, please, sir. Very good, sir. Calling Expedition 13. Come in, 13. Acknowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, the interplanetary ship has acknowledged our message. We should keep in constant contact as long as possible. Our control says they're receiving us okay. Good. Well, gentlemen, we're now in free flight. Contact Jupiter in three weeks. There's the Earth. Looks mighty small from here. It's like looking through the wrong end of a telescope, eh, Doc? Sort of makes one feel insignificant. I always wanted a bird's eye view of the Earth, but this, wow. Hey, I wonder what we'll find on the 13th moon. Danger past. Repeat, danger past. Resuming course as planned. Man, that ice machine really cools you off. Yeah, it reminds me of my wife when she's mad. Resume planned flight.
is the 13th moon. Well, it could be one of those, but uh, according to our calculations, it's hidden behind those fog clouds. And a checker course. Fair right, zero, zero, two. I was right. We are heading for the fog clouds. And what about Jupiter and the other 12 moons? Any life on them? Now, there could be, but Blair believes they're barren. And what about it, Blair? Based on what we've learned, the possibility of life as we know it exists only on the 13th moon. Do you mean people, too? We'll soon know. Take her down, Skipper. We're in the satellite's atmosphere. control. No. No, this is another frequency. Ultrasonic. Calling spaceship. Calling spaceship. Report name and destination immediately. You are under our space control. We stop moving. This is Expedition 13 from the planet Earth. Crew of five men. Destination, the 13th moon of Jupiter. Purpose of trip, a friendly scientific exploration. Proceed on course. Bearing on your compass will be 18017. Landing field between two mountain ranges. That's the wrong bearing. That'll take us nowhere. What about it, Doc? The only explanation I can think of is that their gravitational laws and magnetic poles are contrary to ours. Seems like there's nothing else to do but follow their instructions. Expedition 13 proceeding as ordered. Those mountains, Blair. We'd better find a plane soon. Secure for landing. I know. It is a big moment in our lives and in the lives of the world. I mean, the Earth. But being a scientist, I have the utmost curiosity to know what lies out there. All right. Stanhope, check the outside atmosphere. Anderson, contact control. Arrive, destination, beginning, exploratory phase. <clears throat> Expedition 13 to control. Arrive destination, beginning exploratory phase. Signing off. From the expression on your face, Professor, I'd say you've found that the atmosphere on the 13th moon of Jupiter is similar to that of the one on Earth. Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head. Ah, open the hatch. <clears throat>
glass. Anderson, can you read the message somebody is sending? Looks like a code of some sort. Head for trees at signal. Head for trees at signal. Well, that's it and all. Just repeating the same message. Hey, it's Morse code. That must be the signal. Captain, close the hatch. All right, let's head for the beacon on a double. that little war we've just been through. There's a logical explanation for each occurrence, right, Dr. Higgins? Right, Mr. Blair. Well, let's find the beacon first. Spread out. It's real, all right. Looks like a film of some kind. I haven't seen anything like it before. I'd say the statue is made of bronze. Now, the vegetation's similar to that on our planet. Reminds me of a lighthouse beacon. Except it's on land instead of water. Uh, perhaps the plane was once covered by water. Whatever the answer is, keep a sharp lookout until we know for certain our standing here. I'm wondering about that voice we heard on the radio. We'd better get back to the ship before it gets dark. We can return tomorrow. a human voice. Sounds like it, but let's not jump to conclusions. It's getting late. This could be very important. Yeah, we may be able to establish the presence of human life on the 13th moon. I'm going to put a stop to this. We're here to explore, not to get involved in something we know nothing about. Fire a warning shot first. Larson, circle to the right. Stand hope you and Anderson to the left. Doc, stay here. Logically speaking, the forms of life on this planet are unusual, to say the least. So far, two extremes. Uh, you can have your extremes. Just let me navigate in one direction only. Right now, Mr. Navigational Expert, our bearing is zero, zero, zero. Yeah, we'd better hurry or we'll lose our charming guide.
you're in charge of the rear guard. Anderson and Stanhope will stay with you. Captain Larson will come with me. If we don't return in 30 minutes, go to the ship and remain there. OK. is, I don't know. You know this, is, this architecture is the late Minoan period. Not Minoan, but late Atlantis. The two periods of architecture are often mistaken for each other. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to New Atlantis. I'm happy you've arrived safely. My name is Process, the lone male survivor of Atlantis. She was my mother's mother. Be seated, gentlemen. A thousand questions are on your lips, yet to answer one would take many days and nights. As my guest, we shall have eons of time for discussion. We wish to thank you for your hospitality, but don't want to intrude. Don't concern yourself with small matters. You speak of New Atlantis, the lost continent. Not lost. Here it is in all its splendor. But there are only a few of us left. That beacon light, the voice over the radio. The voice was mine. The light was a guide installed for your arrival. But how did you... I have observed your preparations with the greatest anxiety, hoping you would not fail. The meteor was a trying moment. That bombardment after we landed. The creature. The man with the head of a beast. It must be destroyed. Yet it is indestructible. Here we are safe. Here you must remain until you've solved the problem of the destruction of the creature. Oh, but there's time for that. Yeah, but what about the other... Yeah, no need to go into that right now, Captain. Let's accept our host's invitation. You have made me happy. You are weary after your long flight. Food and drink will provide the necessary sustenance. My daughter, gentlemen, Hestia, Princess of Atlantis. This is Captain Larson. I'm Luther Blair. Hestia's life belongs to you from now on, Luther Blair. <laughs> I it is know. the law of Atlantis. My child. Bring food and drink for our guests. Our thanks to thee, Aphrodite, goddess and queen of all Atlantis. The this guy's of the earth men have I've seen guys like him in the last war. I know, but we've got to humor. Well, what about the gal? What about her? If she's his daughter, I'm Genghis Khan. I feel normal. Hey, do I look like I'm going off my rocker? Watch out, he's coming back. These are my other daughters, gentlemen. Before your eyes are the last descendants of Aphrodite. New Atlantis must not die. What's he trying to suggest?
Hey, 30 minutes was up a long time ago. Let's go in after them. No, we're heading back for the ship right now. Well, what about Blair and Larson in there? You heard his orders. Let's go. I can't get through. We've had no word since their last message that they'd started the exploratory phase. Well, we must keep trying. Well, I'll let the Admiralty know. Just stay in contact and keep sending your message. What? Yeah, well, we'll wait till morning. Inside, it'll be safer. Contact control. Dano, run a check over our supplies. Oh, and be sure you do a thorough one on the firearms and ammunition. Hey, did we tell control about Blair and Larson? No. No, I just say first phase not completed. Everything fine. Okay, just as you say. Calling control. Calling control. Control to Expedition 13. Receiving you loud and clear. Go ahead, 13. Expedition 13 to control. First phase incomplete. Repeat, first phase incomplete. Proceeding according to plan. Signing off. was enough, sister. English. That is, if this isn't all a dream. Where's Larson? What's going on around here? Why were we drugged? possess eyes and ears, but here the only sound is of the ripple of tiny waves on the lake. What's the name of the lake? 
Colossus holds us all prisoners. He has the power of life or death in New Atlantis. What is this New Atlantis business? It is true. When the continent sank beneath the sea on Earth, my ancestors came to this planet. It had been foreseen and planned long ago. Do you have seasons here? But why here? At the time, it was believed that all Earth would go beneath the water. A million questions I would like to ask you. The only one I can think of right now is how do I... we get out of here? By the Lord of Atlantis, I am yours. Be patient, my love. Good morning, Luther Blair. Would you be kind enough to follow the guide to my quarters? Where's Captain Larson? What is your name? It is Duessa, Luther Blair. Waiting. Yes, I know, but a few minutes delay. This is beautiful scenery. Tell me, U.S., are you girls in process the only inhabitants on the 13th moon? The 13th moon? I mean the new Atlantis. Oh, yes. Then you've never been outside the cave entrance. It is not necessary for us to go beyond new Atlantis. You've never seen the creature. It is time to go. Skedano. Hit the road. Get lost. I mean, go away! Why do you want us to go away? Just leave quietly, the same way as you came in. Where's Blair? The process is having a discussion with Luther Blair. Oh, good. That's just what I want to do right now. How do I get out of here? You are our guest. Oh, I see. I stay here whether I like it or not. We hope you like it. The creature's out in the garden. <gasps> what is it? I don't know. I thought I saw something move. Yeah, there is something there. Keeping well hidden. Well, there was something there, all right. Could it have been the girl? I don't know. Are we just going to sit here and wait for Blair and Larson to come back? What if they don't come back? We'll wait here until noon. 
If they haven't come back by then, we'll... Check the radio, Anderson. Maybe we'll hear something. Yeah, maybe we'll hear that voice again. We'll sweep the surrounding area with radar. Uh, this isn't the most ideal circumstance. No, I know. We better go find Blair and Larson. Get your guns. your aid, New Atlantis will rise stronger than ever. Pour Luther Blair a drink, my daughter. Come, Luther Blair, refresh yourself. Atlantis, let this be a day of rejoicing. Tomorrow we begin thinking of the creature's destruction. Yes, once again, New Atlantis shall rule. more. We shall regain our former Could be two identical trees somewhere else. Yeah, there could be, but I doubt it. We followed the same trail from the beacon. See if the entrance isn't sealed. Oh, it's been solid all the way. No crack, nothing. What is it? What is it? Stick together. Hold your fire. We'll try and scare him away.
Okay, let him have it. The bullets had no effect. Try a gas grenade. There must be some way to get inside, if there isn't inside. Looks like a break in the forest ahead. What's your opinion on the animal or creature, Stanhope? A definite throwback to the caveman classification. Neanderthal period, I believe. Seemed twice as large. I forgot to use the pole or the picture would be proof. <laughs> well, next time use the flash gun to scare him away. Ah, whatever it was, it looked like a giant. I agree with you, Stanhope. It had all the characteristics of the caveman. The oddity is the two extremes, the creature and the girl. You discuss the animal. Me? I'll dream of the girl. And I won't use a grenade. Just my ever-loving charm. Ooh. Hey, what if she's the only one? In that case, you're last in line. We better push on. Hestia. What a beautiful name. To think I've traveled millions of miles through space to find you. It was foretold in the sands of time that we would meet. We'll get Larson and find a way to escape, and you're coming with me. Yes, my love. How do we get to the entrance? The entrance is sealed. There is no escape from New Atlantis until... Until Process gives his consent. He will never do that. Even for you, his daughter? We are all his daughters under the law of Atlantis. All women look to the ruler of Atlantis as their father. Is there no other way out of here? Atlantis is impregnable. Whoever desires to enter or leave will be destroyed at the boundaries. Thus the need for the destruction of the creature. I will be back the hour of sunset. We've been walking for hours. Uh, maybe we've been going the wrong way. <sighs> Stand up. Anderson. What is it? Look there. Well, this is it. The end at last. Well, hold on. We don't know what's on the other side. Hey, climb that tree, Anderson. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Obviously, I'm elected again. Yeah, we better see what's there. Hey, there's a guard. Not so loud. What else do you see? No, there's nothing else. Come on down, Stanhope.
A species of fauna that demands the most extensive research program. You mean different to all this? Uh, my dear Anderson, a fauna, or in this case, faunae, refers to the animals characteristic of the region. Who cares about animals? A man uh, and a woman have sometimes been referred to as an animal. You mean people? Girls! Hey, why didn't you say so before? Yeah, well, if you two are going to argue about it, we'll never get over that wall. We've got to find some way to scale it. Well, uh, we could get on each other's shoulders. I'll get on top, and if the girls attack, yeah, I'll... too high. Cut down that sapling and lean it against the wall. That'll do it. Well, go on, go on. Expedition 13, calling Expedition 13, come in 13. Well, we mustn't be discouraged. There are many reasons for not hearing from them. The atmospheric conditions, being away from their base of operations, even obstacles we don't begin to think of. Yes, but they were given orders to keep us fully informed.
one is angered. His daughter has violated his law. The Code of Atlantis says the eldest daughter must be married first. And I, Duessa, am the eldest. The God of Sun has passed judgment. At the first ray of light, you must die. She, she must, must die! die. them in the garden. Make them watch the sacrifice. Let all the men watch the sacrifice. Yes. Get all the men. Then get the men. Get yes. the men. Where's Blair and Lawson? Prisoners in their chambers. <laughs> chair by the wall. In front of you. Move it. Push it. The exit is there. Hurry. Oh, I never thought I'd see you again. We've got to get out of here. your strength. The cords grow tighter if you struggle. What are they going to do with us? You are safe. They will not harm you. Well, if that's true, why are we tied? I think we're going to witness an ancient ritual, a sacrifice to one of their gods. The god of sun has been angered. He must be appeased. You? You switched drinks with him earlier. Pest you? Or the girl? Hmm. Well, that's what happened to me? Right. Now, guns ought to be around here someplace. It's almost morning. If we hurry up and get back to the ship. I have to find Hestia first. What do we need her for? I promise to take her with us. Oh, I see. We need her help to get out of here. Hey, what's the matter? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I do. Something's going on out there. 
trouble? Depends. Anyway, we're not looking for any right now. Let's hope they pass by. Quickly, before the two men release their companions. We'll be the two men. They'll remain our prisoners. Men and power! Hey, they've got Doc and the other. I told them to stay with the ship. What do you expect them to do when we didn't return? I would have done the same. What about the old boy? Leave him. He's dead to the world. to find these. Maybe we can blast our way out if we find the main exit. Mm, the main exit is sealed. We'll get out the same way as Doc and the others came in. I hadn't thought about that. Still want to take the girl? Safety of the crew comes first. Maybe we can do something about her. Music, but which way? This way.
Let's not rejoice too soon. We still have to get out of this place. We're leaving the same way you got in. Providing the process doesn't stop us. Hestia will help us. Uh, I'll stop process. is dead. You are our new ruler. Hail to Hestia, Queen of Atlantis. Hail to Hestia, Queen of Atlantis. Long live the Queen. I go with my beloved to Earth, but I shall return. Meanwhile, Nisa shall be your temporary ruler. What about us? The creature is gone forever. You need live in fear no longer. But Prasus, he promised his husband. We'll be sending expeditions from the Earth. I may come back myself. Uh, don't worry, girls. I'll be back and take care of the situation. Hey, please, girls, one at a time. Just your names. I have the facts. Contact control. Aye, aye, Skipper. Captain Larson, you'll handle the takeoff. Aye, aye, sir. Calling control. Calling control. Hey! What's the message? Mission completed. 